Hi, Virgo. Thank you for watching Keys Tarot. Thank you for being here. Um, we're doing your love energy for the rest of the month of April. Um, so thanks for watching Keys Tarot. Please like, share, subscribe. Something I have for you, um, Virgo, is the true love oracle. Okay, so I'm going to be doing uh, drawing from that and also messages from your spirit wait, messages from your animal spirit guides. All right. So we're going to be doing those oracles. So much fun here on T's Tarot. Um, this is your love energy, general reading. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If the story is not resonating, please come back next time or watch another tarot card or check out your Venus, sun, moon, rising. And just, you know, if you're a cross watcher, you're welcome. So Thank you for being here. Um, switch roles as you see fit. You know your story more than I do. So anything else? Oh, yes. I announced the winner of the draw for the half an hour reading. And so uh, check out that video. The winner for the half an hour reading for everyone who has subscribed. I thank you. And I drew a name for the monthly subscriptions. People that have uh, subscribed in the last month. Um, so yay, congratulations. Uh, Amanda Murphy was the winner. Check out the video. Uh, if you subscribe, you're entered into a free reading with me. I also have um, a couple new decks, uh, the Wandering Spirit Tarot, which I'm going to be doing. I love it. Oh my gosh, so much. I keep forgetting her, the authors and the illustrators. Um, name but her backstory is amazing i read all about her she's quite remarkable um very inspiring so i can show you some of the cards not all uh some maybe too explicit um but beautiful um so um also i will be starting a reading now all right so anything else um i'm available for private readings okay so there you go. If you subscribe, you'll be entered into the contest for next week. I am going to draw from the True Love Oracle. Oh, yeah. And then we'll get started on your reading. Okay. So happy Easter to those who celebrate Easter. It's Easter weekend. So um, I hope you all are having a great weekend for those that do celebrate. Um, yeah. So we're diving into your love energy, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo's love energy? And I will read it. Creativity. Okay. It's amazing when I pull these cards, which I have been because I just got them for myself. I never pulled creativity. Um, but for you, Virgo, creativity is something that matters to you. What number was that? Okay, it goes in alphabetical order. Luckily. Creativity. Okay, so I'm going to have to read it to you. Your world offers endless possibilities and varieties, so be creative and enjoy them to your advantage and benefit. Being creative is not just about being artistic or inventive. It's about thinking outside the square and considering different approaches and attitudes. Being creative means that you can turn an ordinary day. Where am I? Sorry. Or into a wonderful day by adding a dash of the unexpected. You've drawn this card today because there is never any excuse for excessive repetition or boredom in your life or in your relationships. Routine and habit have their place in life up to a point, but they can quickly dull your senses and enthusiasm. If you are currently seeking a partner, it will be beneficial to explore your own creativity in terms of your attitudes, perception, and expectations, even the way you listen. Look back over your life and consider where you could have been more creative. Notice where your attachment to routine predictability or your ideas about how things should be 
may have affected your previous relationships. Think about what you could do differently from now on and what habits or rules you might be able to loosen in the name of spontaneity and fun. Okay. In an existing relationship, it is often obvious where the rot of routine and fixed expectations have set in. This is your opportunity to be creative. There. So there's that. And I will draw from the messages from your animal spirit guide. It takes me a while to get names down of tarot cards. <laughs> messages from your animal spirit guides. Okay. For Virgo. I was reading these cards last night. I was um, just, you know, exploring them, learning about them. I was pulling called cards for myself and I started crying with almost every card. And I'm a Gemini. So we like to think and rationalize and come up with concepts and think about factors and research and intellect and I was drawing these cards and I was in tears and I'm like what they're very very um meaningful sentimental they hit the chord with me so I'm really enjoying them so you got the penguin the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is experiencing is now passing and you got kiwi do a walking meditation each day for the next week. All right. That's what you have to do. All right. So overall energy. We're going to use the Wandering Spirit Tarot. I wish I could show you more cards, but I'm not sure if I can because some of them, like I said, could be inappropriate. Overall energy for Virgo. Overall energy for Virgo. We can already tell this is going to be quite a long reading, but you're so worth it. Okay, you got death, so transformation. Um, that is your overall energy. Page of Pentacles, what is in your surroundings, so a new beginning. Something to do with health, money, abundance, coin, creating uh, something, like the card said, creating a new adventure in terms of money. So it could be a, a proposal a promotion, a message coming in, pages are messengers, so a message coming in to you about something, a new beginning in a job or something like, like that. And then you got Justice, um, who is most on your mind or your partner? What do they, um, what's their energy is Justice. So it could be Libra. Also, it could be something to do with the courts. Uh, system so anything to do with justice so you know what that means like lawyers courts contracts it could be a contract something coming in in terms of money and you could be signing contracts okay this is the person most on your mind okay who's coming towards Virgo So I really am trying to cut my, like I've said before, you may have heard me say this, get my timing down. So I'm going to read the cards like you already know what they mean almost. So I don't explain them six times over. <laughs> I'm going to try that. He's coming towards Virgo. Temperance. Okay, this could be Sagittarius. Um, so someone coming towards you, very healing nature, calm, uh, caring, nurturing, um, someone that wants to take care of you possibly. Okay. Someone that feels a lot of love towards you. I was really hoping I wouldn't drop a card today, but anyways. And then you got your hopes and fears are the hair font. So with justice already here your hopes and fears are possibly that you will 
make this relationship solid, have a solid union partnership. Uh, the Hierophant also talks about um, marriage. So possibly the person that's in your environment, the person most on your mind, your love interest, your crush, your partner, whatever it is, they're, they're thinking about marriage. They, they, they may fantasize about marrying you, but it's in hopes and fears. So it's something you wish for, but also not ready for. Okay. So it could be marriage, uh, seeking counsel, someone of religious, uh, that has strong religious values, someone from your church. Okay. So a lot of healing energy, you're transforming with the, with the death card. Okay. Um, and you're, you have a strong new beginning in terms of wealth. You're dealing with something within the justice system. Uh, there's someone that's healing and there's a healing um, energy around you, a person. And then you've got the hair font, which is your hopes and fears. So maybe you're in a relationship and you're not sure about if you want to make it a matrimonial relationship. Okay. How does Virgo feel about their person? Oh okay. So you're guarded to of swords. You're not you're not looking at them. You're you could be um not facing them, not facing a truth within the relationship. Um there could have been hurt or pain somewhere along the lines. You're feeling guarded not wanting to look at aspects of the relationship and you're also fearing um the longevity of the relationship is it going to be a marriage and you're sort of pondering a lot uh wondering thinking and they feel towards you the high priestess so they are not speaking about how they are feeling they're holding it to themselves they're holding it to their chest they do not want to let you know how they feel. Okay, I showed that card. Possibly should not have. Don't be mad at me, you two. Okay, strength. Uh, the advice from spirit. You have the strength within your partnership to have a long-lasting relationship. Whether you want to or not, this is what the spirit is advising you. That, yeah, this could be a good person, a good partner for you to take that leap of faith. And then we had the little trickster. There's bonus cards within um, this deck, uh, the wandering spirit. How do you overcome obstacles? So the trickster in this deck, um, well, they they like to make, mix things up a bit. They like to do fun things, fun activities, um, you know, have fun. It's all in light. Um, they're not tricking you really. It's not like uh, pranks and things like that. They do tell you the truth, but they're not shy. They're very out there, outgoing. You know, they want to have fun and shake things up. That's the trickster. Okay. And that is how you overcome obstacles. You just take life as it is. Okay. Not too serious. That's the message I'm getting for you. Okay. So. The fact that the hopes and fears are right dead center in your reading means that you are very unsure about where this partnership is leading. Okay. Um, yeah, so how does, okay, so they're the high priestess. They're being secretive. How does Virgo feel about their person? How does Virgo feel about their person for the month of April for Virgo? I'm actually thinking the reading's not going to be too long. I'm on point so far. Um, Eight of Pentacles. So you want to put the work into it. Okay. Um, you want this partnership to work. Okay. So 
you both are not sharing your feelings. You're both holding back um, with the two of swords um, and also the hair font in your hopes and fears. Okay, we're going to clarify. Gonna use the Egyptian tarot. Okay. Okay, what is the death card here for Virgo? Why is the death card here for Virgo? For Virgo. Why is this death card here? If this is resonating, please hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. King of Pentacles. Okay, so you have transformed, completely transformed into the King of Pentacles. Um, that is what is on your mind. So possibly love is not the most immediate thing that you are wanting to manifest or wanting to create for yourself in um april so king of pentacles is money coin this is the person that works hard this is virgo energy as well so that is you coming up in your reading you've totally transformed and you have you know all that you want in terms of wealth success and you have 10 of sort for the page of pentacles so your environment was the page of pentacles and you have ten of swords so something in your environment has caused you pain inflicted pain on you um possibly maybe something to do with job loss this is a page of pentacles as well so coin wealth success um so you are feeling pain and hurt by an ending of some kind because you were doing a good job. You transformed. You're the king of pentacles. You were, you know, making a life for yourself. And then something happened. And ten of swords is being stabbed in the back. Um, something not working out, um, whether in partnership, career. Um, because it's a pentacle, I would think it has to do something with your finances. So something with your finances right now are obscure up in the air you're hurt by it um and you're feeling that energy so maybe it was a bad investment um it could have been something uh working towards something for a long time and it not working out okay and then the justice why is the justice here for virgos Why is justice here? Thank you, angels, guides, and spirits. Why is justice here for Virgo? Seven of Pentacles, exactly. Something didn't work out in terms of wealth, something in terms of business. And you were struck by it rather quickly. I feel that it it off it created concern, but it confused you as well. And you could be possibly taking this up with um, some sort of justice. You worked hard and you did not see um it, whatever you were pursuing grow in terms of money okay so the temperance you weren't satisfied with whatever financial decisions someone had made it confused you came out of nowhere caused a lot of pain okay temperance who is coming towards Virgo? Why is temperance here for Virgo? Okay. 
a little clumsy. The world, they want to offer you the world. They want to heal you from this pain. They want to give you the world. They want to be your person that you lean on and vice versa. But they want to be your strength. Okay, this could, this is um, Sagittarius. Uh, what else do we have here? Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. Leo, Aries, Libra. You have a lot of people. Okay. So this could have been a huge business endeavor. It hurt you. And someone wants to come in to be a shoulder to cry on. Okay, the hair font. Why is the hair font here in Hopes and Fears? It often is the marriage card. But seeing that there could have been some crazy business action in terms of justice, it could be something to do with you taking this up in court, whatever it was. Why is Herophon here? Please clarify for Virgo, Herophon. Why is Herophon here for Virgo? So please put in the comments if this does resonate with you. Um, I'd love to hear your stories if you're willing to share. Ace of Pentacles. So a brand new beginning. Someone that is in your surrounding. You're not sure at this point because you have been inflicted with pain. The Ten of Swords. Something not working out. It was working out for a long time. You did a lot of transformation within this position that you held in your career or in a business partnership of some kind, it went sour. Someone wants to be their shoulder to cry on for you to cry on. And the hair font offers a new beginning. So it is in love. Okay. And it could lead to marriage just so you know, um, maybe not right away, but it's in their hopes and fears and your hopes and fears. Is this the person that is going to be my ride or die? I've been through so much, but they want to give to you completely. And you're guarded with the two of swords. Why the two of swords here for Virgo? Why is the two of swords here for Virgo? So it often suggests with love, right? With partnerships, with new partnerships. We have a life that we're living, right? We can't forget that we're living a life. We can't just be all la la land, fancy free. There's things going on in our lives that we may not be wanting to share at the time because we're hurt by it, a job loss, something like that. Um, so there's things often going on in our daily lives that stop us, hinder us from having a companion, a strong companion. Okay, but remember to lean on your friends. Um, okay, you're guarded. Two of Wands. This is how you're feeling towards your person. Poor Virgo. So yeah, things get in the way. Sometimes we're not always wanting to rush into love. Understandably. The Emperor. Okay, so this is how you feel about them. Guarded. But you know that you're badass and you know that you can create a really good life for yourself. Maybe not with them, but you know you're the emperor. You know that you have what it takes to make it. You have new ideas. You're being creative with the true love oracle that came out. And that's also what it was saying too. Don't get, you know, so bored in your life or, you know, don't ever stop thriving even connecting in a different way to someone is creative when you think outside of the box. So you start letting go of this two of wands guarded, not looking at things. You're not wanting to look at a relationship right now. And, but you become the emperor, high status, high biz, very experienced, a leader, a very strong force. Um, he's the head of the tarot. Okay. So the cups, 
the pentacles, the wands, and the swords. Okay, so he knows what he's doing. Very experienced, very wise, um, large and in charge. Okay, so that is what the energy you are guarding because you are the emperor. Okay, so you're like, well, I'm the emperor, even though this happened in my life, whatever it was, um, it went sour business, like we said. And you're like, well, I'm the emperor, so I'm not sure if I really want to be with anyone right now because of everything that has passed, but you're the leader. So you are the one that says yes, no, or go to a relationship. You're the one that leads in even relationships, okay? That's just who you are. Okay, and they're being very quiet. They want to be a shoulder to cry on. They want to be there for you. Why is the high priestess here? So we have a lot of spiritual energy. This is someone who's very in tune, very spiritual. She knows the laws of, of uh, the universe. Okay, so the law of attraction, the law of success, the law of abundance. Um, but, yeah. Um... She is very prideful and very to herself about her intuition. And she doesn't tell all. So she may not even tell you how she feels towards you. She could be possibly, I really think, keeping that to herself. We have the three of cups here. This is celebration. She's not sharing that she wants to celebrate with you. Okay. Um, celebration is the three women getting together having a good time she knows that she could you know let loose with you or he um take whatever roles um as it resonates switch them if it feels right for you to do so okay then we have strength okay this is the actions they will take they're going to be very strong in their actions maybe not in their words letting you know how they feel and they want to have fun. All right. Um, strength. Three of Wands. They want to take action towards you. Five of Pentacles. They're feeling left behind. Possibly you're not with the Two of Swords. You're not paying attention. You're not looking towards them. Nine of Pentacles. They're very independent, very abundant. They are strong on their own, very highly spiritual. And then we have transformation again. So double confirmation on transformation. And that is their actions towards you. They want to transform into a partnership. Okay. Uh, they want to love you. <laughs> okay. The trickster. Okay. So this is someone that just wants to have fun. Okay. Yeah. Fun. And we got judgment and 10 of wands, but they're feeling a heavy burden because you're not answering their calls. You're not speaking to them. I don't see you and them connecting in any sort of way. There's feelings. There might be emotions. You know each other, but you aren't on the same page, Virgo. And uh, we have judgment. So a decision has been made about this person. Okay, and they like to have fun. That's a little trickster. They like to spice things up. And then we have ten of wands. They're feeling really heavy about this. They have a huge burden. They really do like you. They want to get to know you, but you're guarded. Okay. And then we have the knight of eight of pentacles. Okay, this is the final outcome. They, I would say this is them are ready to work towards this relationship. They want to put the work in. They know what it takes. And they want to be yours. But they're feeling a heavy burden. It's taking long. You have a lot of pentacles here. Okay. Eight of pentacles. Final outcome. Why is that here for Virgo and their person? A new beginning. So they are wanting to work on a new beginning with you. They're wanting to, they, there is a new beginning, a fresh new beginning of love, of creativity, of intuition, of, you know, mastering your feelings. It seems like they're dropping their wands. That's the death card too. Transformation, realizing there's a heavy, heavy burden. 
wanting to have fun with you, wanting to go out and have fun, do fun things, three of cups. And a new beginning is offered to you and they're wanting to um, create that offer and they're wanting to give that to you. And we have the lovers at the bottom, which is Gemini. Okay, that's the, and then we have, of course, with water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to draw one more card for you from the Earthly Souls and Spirit Moon Oracle for Virgo. So, thanks for watching Tease Tarot. You have sort of a on again, off again, false start. You're not really in the mood for romance. And they're trying not to take it personally. And it says breathe. Okay, so remember to breathe. Uh, take the moments um, you need for yourself to, um, you know, breathe in the earth's bounty, maybe go out in nature, go for a walk. Did say go for a walk one, uh, every day, once a week. That's what was suggested from the angels and spirit guides. Okay, so breathe. And there's a new fresh beginning coming to you in love, whether it's this person or someone else. They're not sharing everything with you and you're not sharing with them. So it seems like you're on two different sides of the earth and you're not connecting. And they feel very sad about that. Heavy burden. Okay, but they're wanting to make it work with you. They're wanting to have a friendship with you. Okay, they want to be there for you. You don't want that, Virgo, it seems. You want to handle it. You're the emperor, you want to handle it all on your own. And so I wish you the best of luck, Virgo. Um, and I will see you next time on Tease Tarot. Remember to like, share, subscribe. I truly appreciate it. You'll be entered into the draw for uh, the month of May. And I'll see you next time, uh, Virgos. Take care.